And now storm tracker weather with meteorologist Paul Bean. Let's take a quick look outside. This is on I-15 near the Utah border. And as you can tell, there are some clouds out there right now. Some remnants of the systems we've been move seeing move through for the last couple of days now. Mainly those systems that cooled us down. And let, me, let us see a little bit of rain. Although now we're starting to clear up. These clouds are going to be out of here by this afternoon. We're going to start to see the sun again. And unfortunately, that doesn't mean it is going to start heating up once again. It'll be nice for your weekend as we hit those low 90s, though. But after that, starting to see those mid to high 90s again, it's going to get a little bit more of that brutal heat. Right now, though, those lows over the last night have been relatively cold. We're still in those 50s, 50 in Idaho Falls, Pocatello, 57 in Blackfoot, and we do see a couple of those 40s mixed in as well. Island Park and Driggs all both at 41 and 45. Yellowstone at 39, so we're seeing those colder temperatures at night. But it's starting to warm up during the day once again. Storm Tracker, for the once, for the first time in about four days, we're seeing clear weather in the Storm Tracker with only clouds moving through. So as we hit the peak of the day, expect that to be the case. Those clouds start to clear out. We start to see less of those cooler temperatures and more of those 90s as we move forward. We're seeing going back to that summer weather that we got used to last week and about a month before that as well. But as we check out that radar, after this, we do have a little bit of moisture still to come, but for the most part, it's coming in as clouds, unless you're in the Teton area, who still sees some scattered showers moving through today and tomorrow. But for everyone else, only seeing those clouds, seeing those clear weather for the peak of the day, though, so definitely going to see those temperatures heat up. But for today, still sticking to those 80s, 88 in Pocatello, 85 in Idaho Falls, and still Snake River playing the warmest. You can see those 80s right down the, the board. And as we see the Tetons and the Central Mountains, still sticking to those upper 70s so still cooler than what we've been seeing recently and as we move forward down that seven day forecast you'll see that almost everywhere trends up above that into those 90s pocatello stays clear so we're clear of the storms and while there is some scattered moisture moving through our area on the tuesday wednesday spectrum of next next weekend the chances in pocatello are so low that they're almost not even worth mentioning for the most part you're going to see that sun moving forward although the weekend will be pleasant 93 92 as we move forward we're starting to heat back up into that dangerously hot range 94 95 and 97 as we hit the end of next week so expect to see that summer heat make a return Idaho Falls is a little more clouds for now but still seeing a pleasant weekend very partly cloudy conditions moving through Saturday Sunday sticking to 90 degrees and then not hitting those mid 90s until around Wednesday with 94 and then 96 on Thursday so we do see those brutal temperatures come back there as well Teton area like I said, seeing that moisture stick around for a bit longer. This first system won't be out of here till Saturday. It does start to warm up, but that second wave with those slight chances of thunderstorms still keep the temperatures in the Teton area down. As you can tell, it sticks to 80 there for a good three, four days. Then it's going to start to warm up at the end of that very quickly, by the way, Thursday. Or quick five degree jump on that day and then finally for the central mountains stays clear for the weekend a slight amount of moisture moving through on monday but not nearly as bad as you see on the tetons and it's going to quickly warm up now not all, not all of us are fans of the heat but i can say that i'm pretty sure everyone will be happy with this weekend with the cooler 90s yeah and the sun back out yeah i know you like the cooler weather a little more yeah. and i like the heat a little more but it's kind of a good forecast for Kind of everyone, a little yeah. bit of everything, yeah. a little hotter than we've seen. Yeah. Thank you, Paul.